Hi, I'm Jason Felder. This week on Fish Head, we're fishing Devil's Lake, North Dakota for jumbo perch. Stay where you're at, you're not gonna wanna miss this one. Boy, this is a nice one. I tell you, I'm so excited today. I've got a chance here to fish the new Lindy Perch Talker. Oh, look at that perch. That's a dandy Devil's Lake perch right there. Today I'm fishing a new Lindy Perch Talker. This thing comes in 16th and 8th ounce and six different colors. What I'm doing with this lure, if you look here, it's got beads with little plates. And I'm holding that lure probably two, three feet off the bottom, because these perch are just cruising, and I'm clanking those together. And it just chatters and chatters and chatters, and it just draws those fish in. So what I do, as soon as I see that fish on that graph, I slow down my presentation, I kind of drop it down towards the bottom, and just do a slight dangle with the rod, and that's when I let the chain take over, the dropper chain with my five spikes on it, and that, that'll just dance down there, and that'll seal the deal, and these perch will just smoke it. So I'm gonna get this baited up, get it back down there, and see if we can't get a couple more. I tell you, these, these perch this time of year on this early ice, they're really not that hard to figure out. I'll tell you, one, one thing I do here, that's a dandy there. One thing I do, boy, oh, that's a great perch no matter where you go. What I do is, is I, I find a map and I try to find these shorelines that taper down real slow out into the deep water. But the key is what I do is I try to get in that 12 to 15 foot of water. And what I try to do is that you'll find really tight contour lines and then right past on a deeper edge of those really tight contour lines, you'll see where the contour lines spread out a little bit. I call that a flat in between the whole big flat. And I'll, that's all I try to do is, is, is concentrate where those contour lines spread out and that just seems like perfect roaming area for those perch. And concentrate on shorelines that, that approach out the deep water and just find where those contour lines are tight and then they spread out a little bit and set up on there and you'll catch some nice perch like this. Let's get that baited up and see if we can get a couple more. I tell you, sometimes on this early ice fish in these shorelines, you just never know what you're gonna run into. You could run into a six, seven, eight, nine pound walleye or even a 10 to 15 pound pike. They're all up here for one reason, that's the feed. Oh, boy, he's stubborn. Here he comes. Boy, I tell you, it just goes to show right there that these perch talkers will absolutely catch anything from walleye to pike to panfish. That's just a great pike. I don't care where you're at. There we go. Come on, buddy. Boy, he just raced up. Oh, he towered that one. Smoke it. Oh, look at that. Doesn't get any better than that right there. I blew it. Oh, I missed him again. I gotta check it. Tell you, that's one reason with these perch talk with the treble hooks like this, I like to load up those wax rooms. I'll put five, six of them on there because a lot of times if you get bit once and you miss them, you know you're still gonna have some bait left down there. So I can always got a second or even sometimes a third chance at that fish. So that's why I always load those, load those things up whether I'm using larvae or wax worms or even minnow heads. A lot of times I'll use two minnow heads because I know if I get a bite and I miss them, I always got a second chance because I got enough meat down there. Well, that's fun. Oh, it's a nice perch, nice perch. I tell you, I want to show you a little trick that I'm doing with this perch talker. You know, so many times I see people when they jig 
they'll take that rod tip and they'll be like this bouncing that spoon or whatever they're using up and down, up and down. What I like to do is get that lure so it stays in one spot and just pop your rod tip so it just sits there and shimmies in one spot. Now what, I, what I've been doing on these fish today is just I constantly are shimmying that, making these chambers and everything rattle and make its chatter down there. Just keep that rod tip going. When they come in, if they don't hit it right away, I keep that same motion going and slowly start to raise it. What I think's happening there is those perch think that that perch talker is getting away and it triggers that bite. Give it a shot next time you're out. It might help you put a few more fish in the bucket. Oh. <laughs> a bonus walleye. That perch talker will catch anything. Oh, there's another one. Boy, I tell you, it's just been one after another. One after another. Early ice, Devil's Lake perch. Guys, pick up some perch talkers. Get out to Devil's Lake while the bite's hot. I'm Jason Feldner. We'll see you next week on Fish Head.